Oh, hi there. This is a video about which countries export the most weapons around the world. So if you're wondering where I am, I'm actually in a city in the UK, not London, that used to produce and sell more weapons than anyone else in the world. They don't anymore. So I don't even know where it is. Do you? Bit of a clue there. So in this video, I want to do three different things. The first thing is talk about which countries are the biggest armed sellers. And um, you probably know who the biggest one is, don't you? It's the US by far. But we'll talk about who the other ones are as well. Seagulls. The second thing we're gonna do is talk about where they're selling these weapons to. So I'm in the UK and we sell the most weapons to Oman, Saudi Arabia, and then quite a lot to the US as well. But we'll talk about who the other big exporters where they send their weapons. It's quite different actually. US and Russia, as you might expect, send their weapons to quite different places. <laughs> oh, cathedral bells there. And the third thing I'm gonna do is tell you where I am. I'm somewhere extremely noisy because a, a digger's just arrived, kind of out of nowhere. I'll have to move. By the way, if you haven't been to my channel before, then, oh, hello there, I'm Suze, and I'm making some videos about things in economics that I just think are really important. The weapons trade, I think, is one of the most important issues there is. And yeah, I've taught economics at a few universities and it's not on the curriculum, so I think that's a bit of a gap, really. And I also make videos where I try and show you some interesting places around the UK. Now, um, as you can see, I'm just actually um, in, in my flat. I've got a nice plant here. Um, I did start this video, obviously, somewhere very interesting, and we are gonna go back there. But for now, let's look at this first question. Which countries are the biggest arms traders? So I'm gonna use data from a Swedish research institute. Now actually Sweden is known for being quite a peaceful place. The Nobel Prize is given out in Sweden, the Peace Prize. So the Nobel Peace Prize is actually named after Alfred Nobel, who actually invented dynamite, which has been used for purposes that aren't really all that peaceful. But anyway, Sweden isn't one of the biggest arms exporters. They're number 12 actually on the list that I'm using. Now the UK, where I am, actually isn't in the top five. It's number nine on that list, behind Israel, which is number eight, and ahead of South Korea, which is number 10. Um, number one, as I've already said, I'm sure you already knew, is the US. Uh, number two is France. And third on the list is Russia. I expected that, I don't know about you. I was quite surprised about France. I often get taken in by their branding. They're all about liberty, equality, and croissants, but quite a lot of war as well. By the way, thanks to that um, boulangerie for letting me film their croissant there. I didn't actually buy a croissant, just film their croissants. They look lovely. But anyway, um, the next thing I want to look at is where do these weapons get transferred to? Now, of course, it's very complex and it will take ages to look at all the different places. And I will put a link to the data. I'll put a link in the description if you want to have a look yourself. And this came out before the war in Ukraine, which would change things. This data came out in, well, report was in 2022, but the data was reported up to 2021. So I've already said the UK, our main trading partners are Saudi Arabia, Oman, and the US. Um, the US has got very similar trading patterns to the UK, actually. I mean, they don't export weapons to themselves, that'd be weird. But they, they also export the biggest share of their weapons, a bigger share, actually, to Saudi Arabia. Now actually France and Russia have got really different trading patterns to the UK and the US and both France and Russia export the biggest share of their weapons to India. They also both export a lot of weapons to Egypt. Now one other country I'll mention, I haven't mentioned them yet, is China who is a massive transfer and exporter of weapons and they send by far the biggest share of their weapons to Pakistan which I found that quite surprising to be honest and I mean, I don't know what you think about that because France and Russia are arming India and uh, China is arming Pakistan. Now, I don't know if you're concerned about where some of these weapons are going to. I mean, in the UK, actually, somebody who has said they're quite concerned about some of the places we're exporting weapons is Boris Johnson. And he said he was quite concerned about human rights in Saudi Arabia at the same time he was selling weapons to Saudi Arabia. Now, I should maybe say that Boris Johnson isn't our leader anymore. I'm not sure if it's worth me telling you who our Prime Minister is, because things are changing quite quickly here. Might change when this video comes out. But at the moment, it's about 10 o'clock on Saturday, and Boris Johnson is currently not the leader. But it's not really just a question for Boris Johnson. This is it's quite a big question about where weapons are being sent to. And sometimes people make a distinction between weapons being transferred for defence 
or weapons being transferred for, I guess, offense, the opposite. Now, I don't know what you think about that. What do I think about that? It's a big, big question, honestly. And I think for now, what I'd like to do is put the laptop down for a bit and I would like to take you back to where I started filming this video. Do you remember, I started filming in a city, quite a noisy city as it turns out. Where was that city? Let's find out now. Um, uh, I just want to fucking eat and I want to drink. So I was just saying, the third thing I'm going to tell you is where I am. And I'm in the city that used to be the biggest exporter of guns in the world. It's not anymore. So that's Birmingham, which you may have worked out by all the signs which say Birmingham. And the UK used to be a massive producer of weapons, the biggest actually. And Priya Satya gives statistics that Britain went from producing tens of thousands of guns in the 1690s to millions of guns by 1815. And many of those weapons were produced in Birmingham. Now, if you walk around Birmingham, you will see lots of other signs, which you probably can't read actually, but the signs point out that a lot of those guns were being actually driven by and produced because of state intervention and state demand. So what did the British state need all these weapons for in this time period? Well, quite a few different things, to be honest. But quite a few of them are actually depicted in the statue that you might have noticed, actually, near where I started filming. Now, that's normally just a statue of Queen Victoria, but the artist Hugh Locke was asked to do a temporary exhibition, which I think is gone now, actually, which represents five military medals or campaigns that were associated with the British Empire. So why am I telling you this? Why am I bringing up the history of Birmingham? Because so much has changed in Birmingham, particularly. Well, I'm bringing it up because I think it's quite useful to understand this period of history a bit. Because there's one story that the British Empire was all about promoting and giving the world democracy and civilization, But it also seems to have a side that was about promoting and giving the world guns, which possibly they didn't want, and taking quite a lot of resources in return, actually. Now, obviously today so much has changed and Britain isn't one of the key weapons producers anymore, although still quite a lot are produced in the UK. However, um, the reason I bring it up is because I'm concerned that today Britain and lots of other nations on that list of top exporters are still reliant on weapons to get resources that they need. So I gave one example that Britain is quite reliant on Saudi Arabia for oil, particularly if we're not going to be reliant on Russia for oil. That's what that press release of Boris Johnson's visit to Saudi Arabia kind of says. You probably can't read it. Now, I find this quite troubling that we might be reliant on selling weapons to get resources that we need. I find it troubling. But I don't want you to be troubled. That's not why I want to make videos. I think it's more helpful to look at how things might be able to change. Now, Birmingham is a place that has really changed. So, as I mentioned, it used to be a massive producer of weapons, and it's not anymore. So, if you used to walk around Birmingham in the olden days, I suppose, you'd find most of the people that worked in the weapons trade. And I expect that you would go to a place like the Gunmaker's Arms and find gun makers. Now, I went to the Gunmaker's Arms, that pub, a couple of times and walked around, looked very hard, and didn't find any gun makers, to be honest. Asked lots of people what they did, uh, met quite a lot of artists. It's an arts pub, actually, so there's art all over the walls. It's a lovely pub. And I also met someone at the bar there who restores old sewing machines and then sells them so we can make clothes and stuff. That's great. Um, anyway, it's a really great pub, actually. They're not endorsing this video in any way. I don't know what their views on the weapons trade are, so these aren't their views. Um, but look, there's a brewery out the back. They make their own beer. And I thought I'd tell you this because something that gave me some inspiration is that the, the export industry of the UK, we actually export as much beverages, the value is the same, as we export in weapons. So perhaps we could just sell more beverages and less guns. You know, one year we actually sold more art than we currently sell weapons. So again, could we just produce more artists and less gun makers? Could, could we do that? Well, possibly, although we are still gonna have to address the question of how we get oil and access to other resources that we currently are quite reliant on, which isn't just oil. Um, but, so we still got that question which I haven't really answered. I'll just leave that question about where we get resources from hanging, dangling there. But in this video, I have addressed three other questions actually, answer those. They were, which countries export the most weapons? I said it was the US, France and Russia. Who, where are they going to? I said some examples of where they're going to. And where does I start filming? Who used to be the biggest producer? said that, Birmingham. 
said that several times at Birmingham. Anyway, I'll end the video now in a very peaceful place. I say a peaceful place, that's Victoria Square in Birmingham. It was really peaceful before I started filming. Lovely people hanging out, doing all sorts of things. Met some lovely people there, had a nice chat to them. I mean, I possibly disrupted their evening because I, had to, I was trying to film where they were sitting, but you know, um, thanks for being so friendly, people of Birmingham. And you can see people doing all sorts of things there, hanging out with families, people being drinking, you know, it's art culture, street drinking uh, in the UK for some people, not for everyone. But anyway, um, I'll leave you in Birmingham and by the way, if you haven't been to my channel before... What I was going to say there, um, before the refuse uh, collection started where I was filming, uh, not the digger, two separate lorries arrived in the exact spot where I was filming. But anyway, don't worry about that. Uh, what I was going to say there was if you're new to my channel and you'd like to like this video and subscribe to my channel, that'd be lovely. If I had a gun, I could force you to do that, but haven't. So I've just got this video and really got to wrap it up now. So, because as I say, it might have changed Prime Minister by now, so I better go and check the news, see what's happening um, to the economy, um, if we still got one. Um, but anyway, um, that's enough of this really, isn't it? So um, thank you so much for watching. I will leave you. See you later. Bye.